So the only thing you're going to need to be able to do this is a program called OBS. It's completely free. I'll put the link down in the description, but this is going to allow you to screen record uh, these transitions I'm going to show you how to set up. So let's head over to YouTube. Now on YouTube, you can find all types of different transitions. Uh, the specific one we're going to use, we're going to utilize a tool called Key Light here in After Effects. So you're going to want a green screen backed transition. And there are a ton of these on YouTube. As you can see, there's all these different transitions you can use. And I'll show you how to use these, apply these in. Can me come on? Come on, there we go. So I'm gonna use, show you how to apply these here in After Effects as a transition. So here's just an example. I wanna use a fire one, so I'm gonna type in fire transition. Okay, so here we go. So this is the transition I want to use for this particular video. So it's just gonna be this little flame, this little flame transition. Now once you get OBS set up, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to show you how to do that. Uh, I may make one in the future, but once you get OBS set up, you're going to want to screen record this transition. So I'm recording right now for this video, so I can't record this. It's already pre-recorded, but you're going to play it. You're going to record that animation. And once you grab it from OBS, wherever it's saved, you're going to put it into your After Effects. So this is the green screen transition I recorded. So once that is recorded and in After Effects, you're going to drop it in. And what you'll see is, this is out of, um, I'm going to blow this up here. Okay, so once you, once you get this fitted, you're going to just see this green screen. This is where this tool called Key Light comes in. So we're going to go up here to Effects, and I already have it pre-typed in here. So we're just going to do that again. So Key Light, it's right here. So Key Light. You're going to drag and drop this into that layer. So up here in Key Light, it's as simple as taking this little dropper and picking this green color. And now you can see it disappears. So you selected that green color, and now it's just only going to show that flame. And we're going to use this point where that flame is filling the screen as our transition. So how I like to do this is I find the spot where the transition is. So that will be right here. You can see right at that split. You're going to find the middle of that split. And I like to find the very center, the most blocked off part of the transition. So I say roughly right there. So what that's going to do is when you come out the other side of the transition, the other side, here we go. So you get that nice smooth transition into um, that other clip. So I'm going to play this for you here. So there you go. There's a nice smooth transition. I'm actually going to mute this because you do hear some clicking sounds. So mute that layer. Nice smooth transition. And you could even see, I just quickly downloaded this this video off of um, so you could see green screen transmission or transition so we're just gonna cut that little spot out here so to quickly do it you do control shift D so if you hit control shift D that will split your um, split that layer there so that clip so there now I don't see it so there we go we got that nice smooth transition now just to add a little bit more to it a little bit extra on top we're going to add here an audio file. So using OBS, once again, just to record the audio of this, you can hear that flame sound. So we're going to take that flame sound. I already dropped it in here. So here you see fire one. I'm going to drop that in. And this is just going to be audio, OK? So I'm going to make that invisible because we just want the audio. We're going to drop down here to waveform. So we want to line this audio up. So as you can see down here, we have the waveform of the audio. We're going to want to line that up here roughly with 
the audio of the flame. So let's let's give it there and see what happens. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna maybe drop it back a little bit. Let's see. That's pretty good. I'll call it there. Uh, this is just a demonstration. So now you have not only a transition, but a cool audio file to go with it. So let's play that through. So there you go. You Now you have your professional transition. And you can take, like I said, any of these green screen clips that you find and use them as transitions. There's a bunch of them. So green screen transitions, if I could spell, which I can't. So, you know, let's see what this one is. This is there you go. So this one comes with an audio file. So there you go. You can go through, pick whatever transitions you need, just screen record them in OBS. That's actually pretty cool. And I'm going to save that one, but just, yeah, screen record these in OBS, drop them in to your, uh, to your file and throw key light on there and you're good to go. So that's it for the video. That's how you do some cheap, easy, free transitions to make your videos look a little more professional. If you like these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.